let's do this problem it's asking to find the derivative using definition so first of all let's uh, let's write the definition of derivative so it's going to be f prime x is equal to limit h approaches 0 f of x plus h uh, minus f of x over h now first of all we plug this x plus h instead of x so if I plug I will get limit h approaches 0 f sorry uh, sine 2x plus h and minus uh, f of x is going to be just sine 2x because just plugging the x right so sine 2x over h now what's going to happen is if we expand this one it's going to become limit h approaches 0 sine 2x uh, sine 2x plus 2h so this is going to become like this and minus sine 2x over h and I can expand this as uh, when you uh, like when you have something like this we can expand it as uh, limit x approaches 0 so it's going to be sine 2x cos 2h plus cos 2x sine 2h so this is the expansion general expansion of uh, addition of sines and minus sine 2x over h then now uh, to make this uh, to find common things i can uh, bring this sine to x near to this sine to x so i can factor it so it's going to be limit h approaches 0 sine 2x cos 2h minus sine 2x plus cos 2x sine 2h over h so I, uh, I would like to bring this next side so the next step is going to be limit h approaches 0 so I can take the sine 2x common now so if I take that one I will get sine 2x common and cos 2h minus 1 or minus 1 plus cos 2x sin h sin 2h over h now what I can do is I can separate this one into two equations so if I do that I will get limit uh, I can separate it into two parts so it's going to be sin 2x cos 2h minus 1 over h plus cos 2x sin 2h over h so before I go further I, I, I had to mention something so there's a general formula to these things so for example when limit x approaches 0 the cos uh, cos x minus 1 over x is equal to 0 so this is one of the general thing and another general thing we have to remember before we do this question is we have to know limit x approaches when limit x approaches 0 uh, sine sine x over x is equal to 1 so these th two things we have to this is general things we have to remember before we approach this kind of question so in this case well I had to bring if I can bring this pattern right here I can solve this easily so let's see how we can do this so we only we, since we are only dealing with the h I can bring this sine to h to the front of the limit so it's going to become sine 2 x limit h approaches 0 and it's going to be cos 2 h minus 1 h 
and here I can uh, since I am dealing with the edge right here I can bring this into the instrument of limits so it's going to be cos 2x limit h approaches 0 sin 2h over h but if you see uh, this is almost similar to this pattern but in this case what has to happen is whatever the number you are getting in front of the h has to be similar to the bottom one but in this case what we have, what we have is we have 2 h minus 1 in the top but we don't have 2 h in the bottom so this is only possible when the number cycle for example if it's 3 the bottom has to be 3 then only this is 0 and uh, this uh, for this one is also the same thing like for this one to be 1 this has to be 2 if this is 2 this has to be 2 if it's 3 it has to be 3 but uh, so let's see how we can make this possible so the simple thing we can do is we can just multiply the top and bottom by 2 and to make this equal so let's see how we can do it. so sine 2x limit h approaches 0 so if I multiply this one by 2 it's going to be 2 cos 2h minus 1 is over 2h right I multiply bottom and top by 2 and then this is going to be cos 2x limit h approaches 0 and I'm multiplying it by 2 top and bottom is going to be 2 sine 2h over 2h since we have this one right here so it's going to be sine 2x so it's going to be sine 2x sine 2x and now I am substituting this uh, so this is equal to 0 this thing is equal to 0 so I can say uh, sine 2x times 2 times 0 plus cos 2x times 2 times and this is uh, whatever the things after the 2 is uh, equal to 1 so 2 times 1 and now I can solve this one so this whole thing is going to be 0 because 0 multiply anything is 0 0 plus as 0 plus this is 2 this is not x so 2 times 1 better to write dot things to avoid confusions so 2 times 1 times cos 2x is going to be 2 cos 2x so the final answer is 2, 2 cos 2x so this is the final answer and this is how we find the derivative using definition i hope you guys like this video see you next time